What's good, YouTube? It's Rage Rail. So, in today's video, I want to show you guys what I believe is one of the best match cover shells in Madden 22. So, if you enjoy this video, go and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn those post notifications on. So, uh, I just want to start off by saying um, to the sub, I actually forgot his name, but make sure you check the title and you actually see his name and exactly what he commented. But he was actually talking about Bunch Tight End Defense, about his uh, favorite. Basically, his favorite uh, match shell versus it. And so, I decided to look into it. And I like this idea about a bunch tight end. So, yes, thank you. But it wasn't to say that mine doesn't work. It's just I like his too. Because there's more than one way to defend something, which is what I was saying in the comments. But, um, long story short, um, I took his setup and I kind of tweaked it some. And this is actually what I'm about to bring to you guys to actually use it as a universal defense. So, instead of just bunch tight end, you can actually use it universally with just the small uh, tweaks that I like. So, let's go on and dive into this. So, we are going to be in the big nickel package now i'm actually going to switch over and then make sure i am on the cornerback uh not cornerback excuse me you want to switch over make sure you're on the slot cornerback package that's just just in case you want to um adjust people you actually have the it's a little easier to adjust people on slot cornerback package so right here normally i like putting whoever's fast so i may just go ahead and put um let's actually move brian burns to this side um and let's put head sign reddick right there because you want somebody fast right there so let me actually set up the depth chart real quick so I like putting speed right here. I like putting three good pass rushes right here. Or you can switch it up and put, you know, speed right here and then three good pass rushes right here. However you want to do that is completely up to you. Now, right here, I love safeties at linebackers. So I'm going to put Hartsfield. I believe he has, like, 92 speed. Um, Carter, let's not put him. Let's just put uh, Burns. Uh, Burris, I believe he has, like, 87 speed, if I remember right. Um, let's actually put... Okay, let's actually do a step chart real quick because we want... Uh, Henderson right here. He has like 91 speed. I believe we're gonna put uh, JC Horn right there in a the slot and right there We are good up top. I believe he's fast. I'm actually not sure to be honest with you So yeah, this is what we're looking like right here. Uh, Dante Jackson. Let's actually move You know now we're doing yeah, let's put pride right here And then let's put Dante Jackson in this spot right here And I believe this is how I have it in my gameplay So we basically just have speed everywhere. So we have 92 we have 93 we have 96 93 and I believe he has 91, I'm not too sure. But you want speed and you want safety at the linebacker position. That's pretty much how you want to set up your depth chart. Now, the play we're talking about is going to be cover four palms. And so um, let's actually just come out in random gun just because it doesn't matter. So let's actually back the ball up just a little bit. Um, and I'm going to leave the ball in the middle. Um, actually, you know what? Let's put it to the let's put it on the um, left hash. So I was kind of playing around with different setups with this, but for a general setup, and also I'm going to be walking through the gameplay of me showing you other formations and everything, but as far as um, general setups go, um, so I always like to deep half to the field, so the field is going to be on the right side, so we're going to deep half this player right here, and now what I found to be pretty effective for me is taking the opposite side safety, so not this safety on the strong side but the weak side safety i like taking him and putting him in the middle third just like this and now you want to use either the three rack or you want to use this quarter flat now a couple adjustments i like to make after this is go ahead and pinch my line i like to press and then i like to double tap the left directional pull up the uh, defensive line responsibilities go to uh reddit and then go ahead and put him in a quarterback spy and i like to blitz my user so this is exactly what we're looking like now let's see what kind of play they pick for us okay cool so just a standard play so i kind of want you to just see how it goes you know so you're basically just following whatever you see and as you can tell it really does a great job as just uh all around coverage now the reason that we deep have is just in case they have any one play touchdowns this deep half is actually going to, uh, you know, play it. So the reason I deep half to the wide side of the field is because when people run one play touchdown beaters, they are normally trying to target the wide side of the field. So you see, I want a left hash. It just wouldn't make sense for them to try a one play touchdown to this side over here, if that makes sense. They would want to take this guy and maybe like, you know, run him all the way across. So that's why we deep half this player. And I like to keep my match coverage, which is this quarter. I like to keep him on the uh, wide side. So that way um, he kind of helps play a lot of those combo routes. And then he'll be in a third to the short side. So if he if this guy runs a post, he'll be able to sit right in that little window. And since this is a um, since this is a quarter, he'll actually uh, man match this. You can tell that's why he man matched that. So we have man match. We have a third. We have a deep half. And we have another man match. Um, 
safety right here. Excuse me, see how he man matches that. And that's why it helps, it helps that deep half out. And that's why I kind of like that little combo like that. So as you can tell, Frilly Rush does a really great job. You see, you've got the quarter flat covered. Uh, we got the flat covered. Our user's in the middle. And you're going to see that a lot. Now, I'm going to show you one more example play. And then after that, we're going to dive straight into gameplay. So like I said, you want to uh, press. Pinch your D-line. I like crashing them up if you have time. Now from here, um, go ahead and blitz our user. You want to take circle the wide side cornerback and put him in a deep half. And you want to take the weak side safety, so triangle, put him in the inside third. Now, if you have time, I suggest you back off the deep half so you don't get burnt off the line. So to do that, you press triangle, press X for individual, press circle, and then back off just like this. Now, last step you want to do is actually take your defensive line, put him in a just like this. And honestly, this is defense. So like I said, you can use this guy or you can leave the three red user this guy. Uh, I recommend using one of these two so you can always have the chance to blow up the run and you'll see me do that in the gameplay. So just kind of see what kind of play we got. Perfect. So let's go and snap the ball and just so I can show you. So you're basically just playing whatever you see. You see the dig route. You see how like they pretty much man match that. That was actually perfect right there. So let me go back real quick and just show you exactly why we do the setup that we do. So we deep half. Um, watch this deep half. So basically he's going to make sure obviously that nobody gets over the top and you see how he's going to go over there and carry that post. And look at the middle third. So we pretty much have triple coverage on him because he's going to man match, right? He's going to man match that. That's his responsibility. This is a uh, this is a middle third. So the middle third is going to carry him. And now look who's coming. So you see how we pretty much have a bracket, and it's pretty much going to be like that for any like bomb type of plays, which is why I love it. So now let's take a look at something else, right? So where's our quarter flat? So our quarter flat is actually right here so what does our quarter flat do he actually takes the flat route and he kind of just you know like yes this is open that's a very realistic throw and in theory you can actually go run and use it at yourself so why can i go run and use that rail because look what happens he cannot throw this in route so if he throws this in route right here that is a pick or a knockdown which it should be you know you can't really bank on ea for some stuff but in theory that should be a knockdown like they'll let him actually recover that ground normally you know normally and if they wanted to keep abusing that then just simply just take you know this guy and put him in a vert hook you know and that would take care of that simply um or not this guy he actually does a quarter flat so you can take this guy and put him in a vert hook and just blitz this player if that makes sense so that's something that you can do you have that freedom so that way your user could just go play this route and other than that like everything would be pretty much bad but check out this gameplay all right so i'm actually going to be showing you guys play by play like me selecting my plays now one thing i did forget to mention is that i like auto flip off but it's completely up to you um i just prefer it off just so i can know where my player is lining up every time but if you want to put it to where your strong slot goes to the strong side that's cool and also i'm gonna show you guys that you can run this under center you can really run this versus anything so my opponent right here is coming out in single back uh single back Flex close. I forget which one it's called, but um, right here I was actually using her to safety, and you can do that too if you want to. Um, if you want to use her to safety, I just recommend using the match safety because you actually want to always make sure you keep that third safety. So if well, when I say third, I mean middle third safety. So you can set it up different ways. So you're gonna see me in game. I was kind of playing around with a lot of different things. So you can see right here, I actually did do the setup that I was telling you guys about, and right there the flats. I mean. You know it's it's match and it's game like you know actual live game so sometimes the players aren't going to play as smoothly as they do a practice mode but regardless all that matters is that we have a body out there now one thing i recommend is you don't do what i'm doing and running this versus just any and every formation because i mean th there's just certain things is good against certain things it's not you can get your match coverage busted yes because it's match coverage in a sense but i just wanted to show you guys exactly you know what to expect so right there like i said you could tell um he just wasn't really fast enough to get out there in the flats and it's one of those things where madden isn't really geared towards match coverage yet just because people just a lot of times people just don't know what to do like their players don't but it's really fun to mix in um i just want to show you guys just different formations and different things and me trying out different like right here i actually deep path to the weak side even though i told you guys i normally deep path to the strong side and great dot by my opponent um that's one of the unfortunate things so the reason i put a spy so when they roll out the pocket i can actually send my spy and also that spy will actually help play some of those you know slants or crossers well, I say crosses, but drags. Like any of those slants and drags, they'll just do a good job of sitting right there. So that's why I love to put a spy. And you normally don't see me quarterback contained because I actually like my three defense alignment actually getting pass rush animations instead of um, instead of quarterback contained animations. So right there, you see he is going to run the ball. And it's actually fairly decent against the run, you know. It's big nickel, so you should expect it to be good against the run. It's just, that's why I recommend you using the three rec or the quarter so as you can tell right here that's actually what i'm doing and i'm setting up the defense so you can tell i deep half to the weak side 
and I also put the weak side safety in the third. So it's just me playing around with different things because because I wanted my match to be on the single receiver side. It's right here. I, <laughs> I don't I don't know like I, I don't know what else I could have done to actually play that better. You see, I did get a gap shoot right there in the backfield. His stick had he swerved somebody else, swerved somebody else, and then he was off to the races. So I mean, I guess good run. <laughs> but if somebody does that, no matter what defense you're in, you're screwed. <laughs> that happens. But right here, as you can tell uh, I passed off the uh, flat and I came back and circled back to cover the in route. And like I said, that's why you want to use it a three wreck because a lot of times the three wreck is the only zone that really dumbs out a lot of times because it just doesn't do what it's programmed to do. There's a lot of ways to manipulate it. So it's just best to actually use it. So right here, as you can tell, I was actually just going to bait those two receivers. And by the time, you know, the plays progress, normally you're going to get a shed of some kind. You're normally going to, they're normally going to take a sack. And it's simply just because of us rushing three and it's big nickel. So you, a lot of times you are going to get those glitchy one-on-one -on -one animations with the end. So I do suggest you put your best player at defense end is right there. He tried to throw that. I have no idea why he throws that. Um, now that was actually kind of bad on my part. So that's why I said, um, I actually like deep halfing. Um, the strong side cornerback and putting the middle with a weak side safety in a third so that way the um weak the strong side safety excuse me can actually match that route a little better which you'll see me do later on in the game and i'll kind of explain it a little better but that's why i took the time to go and practice mode so make sure you go back and practice mode and kind of watch because what you're seeing me now is actually live lab and i'm seeing exactly how i want to do it exactly how i want to say it to you guys and you can tell right here you can tell i have two middle thirds by accident so i had to switch one up to a quarter so it's just a lot of me figuring out what are the best ways to run this offense and right here like i said i actually really love this against trips too just because of the match principle so you can tell there's really nothing open everything gets matched corner route got matched the um the flat route got matched everything matched up just how it's supposed to our users looking for any bounce back and you can tell i mean we get the sack right there so he's gonna come out and gun tight now so i actually was curious about tight formations just because you know tight formations can be a little aggravating guard like those um like those tight offset tight ends you know the gun tight that he's in you know it, it could be a little ag but right here had he waited half a second he would have had that he threw that way too early and that's why we actually did get the pick right there uh so really great job by us but bad job by the opponent because if he had waited he would have had that but i think he had pressure in his face i actually wasn't sure but he's gonna come back out and single back wing flex close and this is one of his favorite formations i found out um so you can actually pass out of this it actually has a really nice pass and play out of this i believe i already broke this play down though um i believe this is the same one with the crosser in it, if i'm not mistaken because he is a 49er, so I'm assuming he's actually in the 49ers playbook. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is that glitchy cross route that I was telling you guys that he kept trying to throw against me. Uh, let's see it. Yeah, it's actually that glitchy cross route. Like I said, we are actually able to almost match it right there. But uh, this is why I recommend you actually putting the strong side safety into a match responsibility because I actually had the weak side safety matching, and that's why he actually had a step on him. But this whole formation, like I told you, is actually really good. As you can tell, the opponent's just running it. But um, we actually have really good defense for like i told you guys in the video i put out the best defense probably for that crosser is like a match style of man coverage which is exactly what we're playing and right here thought he's gonna get in the end zone but panthers defensive line is showing some fight man so he's gonna hurry up offense so right here i'm basically gonna slide my line to the strong well to the weak side with the receivers and then we're actually going to try to shoot that gap he got a little sticky right there i'll call it but we are actually able to contain him right there but I mean, you can't really keep somebody out the end zone on the one yard line the whole time, considering how these fight for it animations are. So if I had to guess, I'm pretty sure he's probably just going to come out and go line. You know, exactly. I would too. And he's probably just going to run like a fullback dive. So I've been playing around this defense. It's actually a defense I used last year. Um, I just haven't quite got it how I wanted to, to be able to scap shoot how I want, but it's not good against a quarterback sneak. So that's why I'm kind of trying to figure out because I'm trying to find some defense that I don't have to go and goal line for. Um, I want to try to find some universal, you know, goal line defense without having to get in goal line. But regardless, you can tell we did score on offense and, you know, we're just pretty much just showing that we can fight, man. So this is really, really great run defense. Like I said, all you got to do is press a uh, pitcher line, crash them up and normally use it a three rec. And then you want to just stand in the middle. So that's why you see me stand in the middle a lot of times because it's going to allow you to be able to gap shoot uh, really easily. So right here, I actually thought it was a pass. As you can tell, even though my user was not there, we still are getting people to the football. So this is, like I said, you can use this versus any formation i just don't recommend calling the same setup unless they just can't you know bust it then yeah but you can tell right here what i was trying to tell you is that we finally got it right we put our strong side on the match and you can tell that should have been a pick 
And that's why you actually want to keep your strong side safety in that quarter because he's going to match any crosser. And it's going to be like a cross man pretty much. And they're going to play crossers a lot a lot a lot better than just standard man cover so right here fourth and five you can tell i followed the flats because nobody was there but you can tell the flat defender was coming and that's why you want to use it at three rig because it's going to allow you to do those different things like that but that's where i put up for this video i do hope you have a blessed day i'm rage real and i'm out